What's going on everybody? Today we are talking about some troubleshooting tips for specific symptoms. We're going to start off and we're going to talk about specifically the problem with machines grinding as they're going through the homing sequence or grinding as it's moving across the rails. So stay tuned. All right, so here we're looking at my 100 watt machine um, and you can see the little red cubes that are over here in the corners. So there is one on each axis. You have one on your X axis that's right here, and then you have another one that's on the Y axis back here. So what usually happens is what we hear is, you know, the machine is homing, all of a sudden there is a grinding noise that's taking place as it gets close to that homing corner. On my sheet machine, that is the right corner, right back corner, and then on other machines, sometimes it is the left back corner. So it really depends on your machine, but we're talking specifically about when it is happening during the homing sequence. So usually the common cause for this kind of grinding is that one of these sensors has been hit, whether it's by the rail or something, it's been pushed past where it should go, and now these are tipped. And so they're not actually sensing the metal objects that are going over them to stop the homing sequence and actually set the um, machine to zero. So first thing that you need to check is that both of these are standing upright. Then you can also take some type of metallic object and you want to go and put it over the top of them. And you see as you get over the top of it, it lights up. That's how I know that this sensor is working. And you see right here, this sensor is working. So to go even one step further, you also want to go into the diagnostic menu. So on my machine, I actually hit the center button here. Others may have it in the menu button, but you're looking for the diagnosis or diagnostic screen. So I'm going to go through and scroll over to that and hit enter. And then it shows me the different sensors that are in the machine. So right now it shows me that my Z limit is actually activated. And that is because I busted my, my Z probe, and so it's showing basically always active. It should be off, but we can also go, and so right now, I'm gonna go and check my X axis by putting a metallic object over the sensor and clicking it right there. And you can see that that X limit is now lit up. So if I remove it, back on, remove it, back on. So I know that the machine and the controller is actually seeing that sensor as well. And then we're gonna do the same thing with the Y axis. So I put it over there, you can see the Y limit lights up, take it off, put it on. So the machine and a controller is seeing that limit switch as well. So I know that the sensors are active and they are working. So as you're going through that diagnostic process, if you find that one of the sensors is either not lighting up or if it's not showing up in the controller menu, then the first thing that you probably need to do is trace back any wiring back to the controller and make sure that it is wired correctly. If everything seems to be wired correctly, then most likely you have a bad sensor and you can purchase a new sensor, unscrew them, put in the new sensor, screw it back into the same place and that should get you back up and running. You can go through, go through the same diagnostic process, put something over the top of them, make sure that they're working and go in the diagnostic menu and make sure that that is working as well. So one of the other common problems is that there are a bunch of wires and random stuff going on in your machine. I mean, you look at my gantry here, I've got the drag chain, I've got all the air wires, I've got wires coming to the red dot, like there's a lot going on. So if any of these random wires ends up getting caught on something, it will restrict the movement of your X or your Y axis. So that's another thing to check. Make sure that as you go through, that all your axes are clear. Looking to see if anything is caught on any of the corner points, any of the pulleys, and make sure that your laser head can move freely all the way from one side to the other and front to back. Another issue that we've seen with grinding is that as you are moving your laser head just left to right around like this, that you will all of a sudden have like the, the head is jerking across in its movement. So it makes it so that way it's not going through a smooth movement and it's unpredictable. 
The most common cause for this type of behavior or movement with the laser head usually has to do with wiring. So looking at this connection here, this is for my X axis, and that is the axis that we see it most commonly on. But this is set up so that way you could potentially put in a rotary. And then you'll go ahead and take the plug out and you wanna check all your pins. Make sure that all of these pins are up high where they're supposed to be and not pushed down. And then same thing with your plug. You can see kind of the metal receiving ends inside of this plug. You want to make sure that they're all towards the, the top and evenly um, spaced and not pushed all the way down into the plug. So that way their connections are nice and seated from the plug to this plug. If you do find that there are any issues with the wiring of either side of this plug, you will need to get some type of replacement or repair it so that way the connections will be consistent. If the plugs are not seated correctly, it's going to cause this type of error. And it can be unpredictable as to when it's gonna connect and when it's not. So it's very important to make sure that the connection is seated correctly. All right, there are some of the common causes for machine grinding. If you're experiencing this type of grinding with your machine, whether it's during the homing sequence or it's going across its normal operation on the rail, these are the things that you wanna check. Make sure that all of your limit switches are working properly and that they also show up in the diagnostic menu. If they're not working, then go back, trace the wiring, make sure it's connected properly. If neither of these things are working, most likely you need to replace your limit switches. The next one is also looking at your gantry movement, especially on the x-axis. Make sure you check those plugs and make sure that they're working properly. If not, repair them or replace them. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one.